Hey guys, and welcome, and or welcome back to my channel. So it is day four of Foundation Hunt Week. If you missed days one through three, they will be linked in the description box down below, and day three will appear here on the screen. Now, yesterday, I said I would be introducing some more BB creams the rest of Foundation Hunt Week, and today is another BB cream, and it's probably the only drugstore or affordable foundation of the whole week. It is the e.l.f. Broad Spectrum SPF 20 Sunscreen BB Cream. This retails for $6 for 0.96 fluid ounces. And if you were impressed with yesterday's shade range, wait for this. This comes in a whopping five shades. I got it in the shade dark. And, you know, looking at the, you know, little color strip on it, that looks... Like, it could be something that's called dark, but um, once you take it out of the actual packaging and look at the bottle itself, what, why is it sticky? All right, um, once you look at the actual bottle itself, that's how it looks, so, all right, you know, let's see how this goes. Okay, so about this BB cream, prime, protect, moisturize, and perfect your skin with this multitasking e.l.f. cosmetics BB cream infused with key anti-aging ingredients like vitamin E, aloe, and cucumber to hydrate and nourish the skin. The smoothing formula minimizes fine lines and provides a natural tint to color for seamless coverage, cruelty-free, and vegan. Okay, so this one actually says to use your fingers or a blending sponge. I'm not going to use my fingers, so I will just use the beauty blender. Ooh, Jesus came flying out at me. Alright, um, this is a squeeze tube. It doesn't have a pump like the other three foundations I've done this week did. This is what it looks like on the back of my hand. Alright, so here we go. It says to blend from the center outward for a natural finish. Okay, so this is what my face looks like. I'm sure you guys are already getting the hang of this. So this is the side that I did not set. This is the side that I did set. It is now 10.42, so I'm going to go about my day. Come back later so you can see how this held up and give my final thoughts. Okay, so I am back and it is now 5.47. So I've had this on for about, what, six and a half? A little over six hours, I believe. I don't know, something like that. And this is what my face looks like. So the claims of this BB cream really didn't say much between, you know, fine lines, seamless coverage, you know, anti-aging ingredients. So let me just quickly give you a rundown on this BB cream because I am ready to take this off of my face. First of all, the very first thing I noticed once I put this on my face is that it has a very strong, strong sunscreen scent to it. I mean, it's been six and a half hours and I still smell it on my face. It is a very strong uh, smell so if you can't deal with strong scents then um, that is something to keep in mind uh, the coverage I would say is pretty sheer which is normal for a BB cream um, as far as oil control goes there is none uh, once again this is the side that I did not set this is the side that I did set and um, I look a hot oily mess right now a hot oily mess and it is hot here in New York it's like 80 degrees so it's understandable but it's not understandable that I start looking like this after an hour an hour I you know I wasn't expecting like a matte finish but damn like I did set it and it, even the set side started to get oily after an hour you know it's not as ashy as the foundation that I used yesterday however it is still pretty ashy once again that's probably because there are only five shades and dark is not dark enough for any of my dark to deep skin tones. Um, it does transfer quite a bit and the thing that I really just can't deal with is that I can feel it right now. That's why I'm a little jittery. That's why I'm ready to take this off. It is so greasy. Like I, my face feels like a ball of grease right now which is why I'm just ready to take this off. Um, I, I'm just not, I, I'm, I'm not feeling this. So should you check it out? 
I mean, if you have dry skin, you might want to check this out. If you have oily skin, do not do it to yourself. I still wouldn't check it out. I mean, you know, at least the Sephora and the Urban Decay uh, foundations, even though there were some things I didn't like about it, there were some, there were more things that I did like, like the finish or stuff like that, that I feel like, you know, for certain people, you could check them out or, you know, for certain issues, like just getting a different color, you could check it out. But this, I, I really don't see anything worth me saying to check out. So, um yeah oh wait hold up hold up uh no my mind didn't change on this i just didn't want to forget to add in a flash test okay so that is it for day four i hope seeing this on my face and hearing some of my thoughts has helped in your decision whether or not you're gonna try it out for yourself make sure to thumbs up comment and subscribe down below thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next one bye